Thank you so much for watching Tomokuchita Music. So exciting to show you today this Fender Music Master Bass Amp. I love this amp for practicing. So clear, sounds so good. A lot of people ask me why you Tomo practice using a bass amp. It's confusing because this name is Music Master Bass Amp. The reason is Rio Fender produced a um, new like a student model bass called Music Master Bass. So he introduced the bass, so he had to make a bass amp for student. So this is a perfect 112 inch speaker. And here, volume and tone. I love this one. See, instrument, two input and volume and tone. Watch here. It's off. Turn the, turn the volume, it switches volume. And right now, I set volume about 2, and I set uh, tone around 5. This tone is not like, you know, tone of guitar amp. This is tone, overall tone of amplifier. So that means bass, middle, treble already set inside. So this tone does make more brighter sounds or a little bit darker sounds. That's all you have. I will explain a little bit more, but let's hear the sound. Some of you already know I use so much this amp because it's great for practicing. I have been using this probably over 20 years and here Music Master Bass Amp, first one, I bought this many 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 years ago, 20, right? So this one, no uh, to, uh, tone knob because tone knob was broken. Maybe one of you maybe sold this one to me. <laughs> Only volume, but the uh, original speaker in it. It's really beat up, and uh, I had to change the tubes. But uh, okay, so it's on. Fender. Steve Rayvon signature. Nice. Yes, I bought this guitar at Mr. Music, Brighton, Massachusetts, long time ago, you know, yeah. So anyway, I after I changed, the pickups are Greening Dark, Funk Master, you know, my signature, you know, so really clean. It's almost like it almost like you know really 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 basic sound. It's just so basic, you know. Almost this this is milk. This is tastes like a milk. This is tastes like a butter. Like almost like a typical one. But this is really great sounding one twelve inch speaker deliver really nice tone. It's just a guitar sound. Especially practice guitar, this is perfect. But also, great about this, no distraction, because you have a volume and tone, that's it. So let's hear the tone. So now here, tone is a five. Let me change tone to A. Wow, so good. So sounds so naked.
Now, if I go 8 to 10, sounds like I'm losing a little bass. Regain the bass. Lose the bass. Now, let's go. This is a 5. This is a 4. I don't really hear the difference so much. Oh, I hear the difference. Kanji Kawabata can write, you know, explain about this volume and tone. This, this particular volume part, it's really uh, like quick to, you know, go uh, higher. Maybe for the beginner, really easy to adjust if it's loud enough, you know, instead of go gradually. Maybe that's the key. So really uh, sensitive at the beginning. I like that. So you get the idea? Alright, so now here. This is volume 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's pretty loud, you know, so actually I never really use this amp for gigging, but I, I enjoy having two different amp, you know, like a stereo and just, you know, one 12 inch speaker and then plus one inch, one 12 inch so you can change any speaker you want. I love the amp. Yeah, I, I'm, ha I'm so happy that I discovered this amp. So um, if you look up Van Halen um, studio picture, that's where first I saw this amp because in back in the 80s, probably this is probably like 82, 83 around there. Uh, one of the guitar magazine I look up and Van Halen rehearsing his room, kind of dirty floor, but then there is this amp, Fender Music Master Bass amp. So I always thought. This must be really important. Then later, I saw his his shop or office has so many amps in the guitar. There is this amp, so I had to buy it. You know, so I did it. So now, this particular one, this is from nineteen uh, seventy four, seventy five, I believe. So later seventies. They change to switch here, switch like this, switch on off, and then no is a little different. And what's the difference of the tubes? You see, yeah. Like most YouTuber use two different camera, an amazing system so that you know um, picture coming really s slowly, and just a sw switch like that. But then. I'm holding, see, I'm always working harder, you see, I'm making video, but I'm doing workout, yes, I have to do workout later, here we go, 60v6, 260v6, 60v6, and 112, um, 12, uh, AX7, speaker, this is a light, cheap speaker, but it's a good way, very inefficient, not too loud, um, not too heavy, not too much bottom, but thin paper, everything light so that it delivers every detail so you can't hide anything. So this one, almost like best way to become a great guitar player. So, I mean, so if you are like, you know, say 15, 18, you want to be best guitar player. You know, this is it. You gotta buy this one. All original. All original. Fender. We have to remember, this is the original, you know? Yeah. Same speaker in it. So now, this one, I'm so excited. Oh my god. Yeah, so this this one is... has um 6AQ5A. <laughs> this is a test.
can you see? So this skinny, skinny um, tubes in earlier, earlier music master bass amp has th this type of knob, you know, yeah. And then later on, music master bass amp, you know, after 74, 75, and then changed to 60v6, which is, sounds great too. This, I, lo I love the sound, you know, but um, yeah, that's... Um, so like other great part of this amp, so simple, so that I I, I have the you know um, first one over twenty years, I only change tubes and then I didn't do anything, never ha never ever have any problem, and that amp I practice all day, all night, sometimes you know writing music or doing something, and I went upstairs, I talked with my wife, maybe have a wine, I forgot everything. Next day, I come back here, oh, amp is on. Still running hot and good, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, no problem. So here, great part of this amp, no distraction, because you have only volume go up, only tone, never change the overall tone. You can hear everything. See, already loud. If I play rhythm guitar, I have to turn down to six on the guitar volume. ask me about the posture I have to make a posture video too but what I do I, I explain in the other video I use my left uh, leg and the foot uh, you know going like this and I I put my right foot on over over top of left foot this way I make a little bit higher otherwise this is it see this is too low to play okay so this way it's just right height to play. Okay. It's very important. And especially lessons, sometimes I had to move around, you know, so I don't usually use strap sometimes. But when I practice, I always use a strap. And uh, it's really, really important. And this uh, particular one, my wife gave me my birthday. And um, probably hard to see it, but. Can you see? Yeah, so this came from uh, England. Airstrap. My wife ordered this one for me. And then this is a gift. Play your ass off. Yes, I will do that. Yep. So this way, you see, chanam. I don't have to do my leg thing because guitar is set with my body. So this is really important. When I stand up, you know, when I sit down, it's the same height. A lot of people confuse. A lot of people confuse that. People think they need only they stand up. Not really. When you sit down, the same way. So it means, kind of hard to see, but this part, right, half of, you know, body, this side, it's lift up from your body. So this side, kind of sit on your leg, body, you know, like that. You see, half, it's in the air. Otherwise, 
guys, guitar moves so much, then you waste so much movement. See, this way it's free. So you can do it without thumb. That's how much I try not squeeze or press so much because I want to play less as possible, relax, you know. And that's nothing to do with this lesson. <laughs> But why not? Why not? It's free. I can do anything I want. Right? <laughs> All right. So, yeah. I think um, I cover about the Music Master Bass Amp. It's not the bass amp. They, you know, basically, Fender has to make, uh, had to make bass amp because they want to sell bass guitar. Especially kids buy bass guitar. Father said, where is the amp? Here we go. Music Master Bass Amp. Once you broke this, bring this home, you're all set. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure how many people really practice, but yeah, this is a bass amp, okay. And uh, early version is like a skinny one, and later version has six v six. That's the difference. And speaker pretty much is kind of similar, I believe. Yeah, and other uh, grape artists. So this is no. Nothing. So I have a floor pedal. This is a Prussian Blue Reverb. Reverb. Yeah, so you can add a reverb, different. And I have a Venom John Ray for TF. So, you see, you can have something else, you know, with a pedal. And here, I love this pedal, Beatronix. Bizapa, Bizapa. to explain it's really fun pedal it's like
It's almost a synthesizer. It's not the distortion, it's really hard to do, but oh, let me see. I thought I can do like vol volume thing, you know, but it didn't work. And interesting, this pedal, it's, it's, if I press this on, if I press longer, it goes a little heavier. Interesting pedal. Again, nothing to do with this lesson or this video. So, <laughs> all right. I think I don't want to go too long because people get really, uh, you know, tired. So I think this is good. All right. Thank you so much for watching Tomofujita Music. If you like this video, please subscribe Tomofujita Music, and you can share with your friends. Make sure notification buttons on so that you won't miss my video. All right. So that's it. See you soon. Thanks so much.